and welcome in the session we are going to uh, do a migration of postgre from one server to another by taking a backup using pg underscore dump all but we are not going to transfer the file from source server to the target server since we do not have uh, the facility of doing so and we we do have the dump size whose uh, size is uh, not not very much so I'll show you the server which we have or probably I should show you the uh, the things on the notepad so as a prerequisite both the source and uh, the target side we have disabled the firewall and the SE Linux we are able to uh, connect the Postgre SQL from source to target and target to source that means remote access is enabled on both the servers and uh, in the pre-migration phase, we have the source server whose IP is 192.168.113 and the target server is 116. The Postgre is already installed with the version 13 on both of them. So I'm going to log into the source. So this is the source. Let's quit. And I'm already logged in as Postgre OS user. Just say PSQL. I'll list down the databases. You will see I have created 100 databases with the DVD rental 1 to 100. This is our source side. And on the target side, uh, I am able to connect using psql u that is capital U, the user is postgre h is the host name of the target, that is the IP address, and then hyphen w. I'm just entering the password of the remote postgre. And uh, you can see there are three databases and on the source side, I have 105. So we have 102 databases, which has to be transferred to the target side. So what we are going to do in the first phase is, there are a few things which you can check it. So the first thing is uh, you can check the size just to estimate how much of the storage might be required to take the backup. So one of the database size is 15 MB and we have 100, so it is 1500 MB, close to 1.5 gigabyte of storage for storing the backup. That's an approximate size. I'm not saying that this dump will be of that size, but uh, this is the approximate uh, requirement. And uh, what we are going to do is you can list down all the users as well, the spaces the schemas and other things so the details are mentioned you can use them and find so there is another video also which is uh, all talking all about how we are doing it by transferring the dump from one server to another in this case we are not going to transfer but from the source side we are going to take a backup so now what we are going to do in the migration phase is we are going to take a backup of all the databases so on the source server, we are logged in and uh, we'll say pg dump all direct to postgre slash backup slash all dot sql. So everything will be captured inside all dot sql. So this may take a couple of minutes. And once this is done, we will uh, see the next step which we have to do. So we are saying do not transfer the dump from source to the target. Okay, we are not going to do it. So do not transfer. So this is not, not going to be done. So what we will do is, this is the command through which uh, we have created the databases and we have restored the uh, DVD rental database inside uh, the source um, server and there are a few users which are also created we are going to use this command just to be very sure what you are doing so we are going to use this command on okay let me see okay this is done so the backup is completed what we are going to do is let us go to this is my source let's refresh it and you will see there are 100 databases with the name dvd rental uh, underscore one to dvd rental underscore 100 just i'm going to okay i just click this arrow and 
was minimized now i'm on i'm just clicking 192.168.1.116 and if you refresh it you will see the list of databases and if you see the list of databases it is just one database which is the default database so there are no other databases so we have to transfer 102 databases from source to target and we are going to use this command i should the only the problem will be a hundred times i have to enter the password okay so let me okay i'm going to fire this command on the source server in any way we are not going to log into the target server at the operating system level so we are just saying psql hyphen u the username where it has to log in it has to log into the small or remote server which is 192.168.11 X and hyphen W, you have to uh, sub, uh, give the password. The only problem will be I will have to enter the password 100 times. This might be annoying. I should have done something else. And that's fine. Apology for this. I should have done something else. All right. Might be ten or eleven databases have been restored already. Not a good way. I have already executed it, so I wanted this to go away. And very soon this will be done. This might be annoying. I told you for that. Okay. So not on all the 100 databases are restored because I have canceled in between. But if you see, uh, you go to target server and just refresh. You will see we have restored uh, the 40 databases and after that uh, just canceled. And uh, let's, okay. We will we'll stop here. We will not do it because uh, it's going to take some more time. But what we are going to check is if I say slash l on the target side, it will show you the databases which are restored. Oh, I think there are a lot which are restored. It is just 41 databases because I canceled in between because it has uh, asked for the password and I didn't supply it. And you can see the databases are restored and if you see the users there are users also which are restored on the target so it is quite possible to do the restoration on the target side without uh, transferring the dump if you feel the dump size is not uh, very large if it is a small then it will be restored over the network and if you have a good link and the 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 speed of restoration is also fast which depends on a number of factors then this this is doable for a small restoration and you can compare the individual components like uh, on the source side and the target side if everything is matching that means uh, now everything is fine from the uh, migration point of view i hope this is going to help and thanks for watching